So, you don't really understand the fracture menu? Not a problem. If you ever want to unfracture something, hit reset up here. To select the entire object, click all. If you only want to select pieces of it, select those pieces and if you hold shift you can select multiple pieces. Invert reverses your selection and picks the opposite. None deselects everything, and if you have selected a fracture of a fracture, the parent button will auto-select the parent piece of those smaller pieces. If you've selected a parent piece already, the children button will select all the smaller pieces it's made of, the sibling button will select all the pieces that are in the same status as the one you clicked, the level selects all the pieces that are in the same fracture level. If you pick this piece, you can see it has auto-selected all the pieces in fracture level 2. The parents are in fracture level 1, so they were not selected. If I do this again, but with a level 1 piece like this, you can now see that only the level 1 pieces are selected. If you want to select only the pieces that are directly physically touching what you've selected, click contact. Leaf just means you only select what's on the final layer. And a cluster selects everything except the leaf bones. And honestly, I never really use interactive, but it's an easy way to select one piece at a time without the big fracture preview. Now if we go down here, we will have a few different ways to fracture. Uniform is the default Voronoi pattern, which is applied evenly to the entire object. But if you want the fractures to look uneven, you should use the cluster mode instead, which will give you pockets of high density fractures randomly. Radial is when you want the fracture to go from the center outward. This is great if you want something to look like it was broken from being hit or shot by a bullet. Planner is when you want to slice something in half. You can rotate the angle at which you slice with the gizmo. Slice will dice your object as if you were cutting fruit or onions. And bricks will cut everything you need as if it was a brick wall. Now mesh fracture is basically a boolean operation. Pick an object that you want to use to cut into your fracture. Select it here. And now you can see you have a single fracture in the shape of the object that we used. Now if you want to micromanage every single atom of how your stuff fractures, you can use the custom settings, but I personally never use it because the defaults usually look good enough for me. Now each type of fracture has a few different settings that you can choose from to change the way the pattern breaks. That's all these numbers do. Do. I know there's a lot of them, but all these numbers do is adjust the way the fracture pattern is applied when you press fracture. You don't even need to mess with them most of the time, and they're pretty self-explanatory, but the settings that I find myself adjusting the most are random seed, which is how you change the break pattern if you are not happy with the one that it gave you, draw diagram turns the break preview off, and under noise you can adjust the size and settings of the break preview controller. And min max numbers control how many single cluster break patterns you want to have at this level. But don't set it too high or else you're your computer will probably freak out. Prune will delete whatever selected parts you have. Hide just makes whatever you've selected invisible. You can unhide it with this button. And Geo Merge combines all the selected pieces you have into a single big one. The cluster area is basically an easy way to regroup pieces. Flatten puts every piece in one level. Level up reparents your selected pieces into the next parent above. And Merge moves all of your selected pieces into a single group. And that's really most of what I use. You're done, really. You can play with the embed and the utilities if you're looking for something something very specific to control, but the big takeaway from this video is the different fracture patterns. If you got that much, you're 80% of the way there. Anyway, I hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.